Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 105, verses 1 to 2 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him, yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Family, isn't that a beautiful portion of scripture? And it's speaking about what we as Christians need to do each and every day, as much as possible and as often as possible as well at the end of the day. What does it say? Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. In other words, give thanks to the Lord, praise him and worship him because he alone is worthy of all praise, family. The Lord is enthroned upon our praises. The word of God says that and he appreciates it and loves it when we praise and worship him. The Lord created mankind with his own free will, which is why we can choose. He created us with our own free will so that we could choose out of our free choice and not out of obligation to freely worship and praise him and to love him, family. That is how he wants it. Just like we can choose to love other people and speak to them or not speak to them, the Lord wants us to freely choose. So we need to choose wisely. At the end of the day, the Bible says that the choice is us, but we must choose life. We must choose right. We must choose to praise and worship the Lord, family, to give thanks to him, to be grateful towards him for everything that he has done for us, family, because the Bible says that every good thing in our lives is a gift from above. And every good thing in our life is a gift from above. But because at the end of the day, God is the ruler of the universe and he owns everything. Therefore, every good thing that we have in our life is a gift from him. And we need to give thanks to him for that family. We need to praise him and worship him for all that he's done in us, through us and for us. We need to give thanks to him for the breath that is in our lungs and all these kinds of things, family. And it goes on there to say to also to proclaim his greatness. And that's not now just speaking about praising and worshiping him because praise and worship is from us to him. But proclaiming his greatness is now speaking about his greatness from us to the world around us. And that is what the Lord wants us to do at the end of the day, is to proclaim his greatness to the world around us. The Great Commission in Matthew chapter 28 and Mark chapter 16 says, go preach the good news to all creation, make disciples of all nations and these kinds of things, family. In other words, to proclaim the greatness of God, to proclaim the goodness of God to the world around us. And that is something, that is a responsibility, that is an instruction that is given to each and every person who calls themselves a born again believer. Therefore, if we are a born again believer, if we confess ourselves to be a Christian, then we need to be giving thanks to the Lord. We need to be praying praising and worshiping him, spending time in the word every day, going to church on Sunday and all these kinds of things. And we need to proclaim his goodness. We need to do our part to fulfill the Great Commission family. And, and when we do this, we will be living out a Christian life because there are many Christians out there who say they're Christians, but their lives, their lifestyle, the words that come out of their mouths, the things that they do show the complete opposite family. And unfortunately, it's people like that that cause a bad name for Christians and Christianity because people look at them and they say, Yo, are you Christians, you're such hypocrites because they're living these kinds of lives, saying these kinds of things and doing these things because they're not living the life that God has called them to as Christians, family. As Christians, we need to praise and worship the Lord and publicly proclaim his greatness. The scripture goes on there to say, let the whole world know what he has done. Once again, lining up with the Great Commission, go and preach the gospel to all creation, making disciples of all nations, family. In other words, let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone of his wonderful deeds. You can see it keeps going on there. It says, proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he's done and tell everybody about his wonderful deeds. That's three times in this one portion of scripture that we're instructed to proclaim his greatness and his goodness to the world around us. And it's important that we do this family because the Bible says that it is the goodness of God that turns men to repentance. But how will they taste and see that the Lord is good if they don't experience it through us, if they don't experience God's goodness and his love through us, through our actions, through our words, through our behavior, and through our proclamation of his goodness and what he has done for us, family. We are overcomers by the blood of the lamb, in other words, everything that Jesus did, but also the word of our testimony. So we must therefore share the blood of the lamb with those around us and share our testimony with those around us so that they too can overcome, that they too can overcome their addictions, their problems, their wicked ways, that they can overcome their sin so that they can come to the Lord, repent from their wicked ways and turn to the Lord. But at the end of the day, family, 
family, the responsibility falls on us. When Jesus died and rose again and ascended to heaven, he took his body with us. And we now, as born again Christians, are the body of Christ here on earth to continue with his ministry, to continue with his mandate. And that is to do this, family. So I want to encourage you, do your part to fulfill the Great Commission. Share your testimony with those around you. Proclaim God's goodness wherever you go and watch what the Lord will do and accomplish in you, through you, and for you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word. Lord, and I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, that you will help us to apply your word in our lives. Lord, help us, Lord, to always give thanks to you, to always praise and worship you at every opportunity we get, Lord, to realize what you've done for us and who you are and to praise you and worship you from that place, Lord. Help us, Lord, to not be ashamed, to not be shy, but to proclaim your goodness, to proclaim your greatness to the whole whole world around us, wherever we go, Lord, so that through us, Lord, people can taste and see of your goodness, Lord, so that they can taste and see of your love, that they can taste and see of your power, Lord, so that they will repent from their wicked ways and turn to you. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.